let's first have a clarification of technology it is nothing but application of scientific knowledge or for practical purposes for a society benefit or any development right okay now we move on to a definition for evolution yes the gradual development of something or, or a gradual and continuing process of change that occur over a period of time for example single cell organisms to humans scratching stones for fire to rockets and satellites from telephones to iPhones and smartphones in our hand we all have had an evolution now we uh, saw on uh, what is technology what is evolution blah 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 okay then we going to say about basic technological evolution the timeline can divide it into two parts okay what is that pre technological period technological period pre technological period is another thing but the life cycle of all the animal species that remain today too and which also by the name notifies the timeline of prehistoric people where there is very less or no involvement of evolution of technology then what is technological period is what we add and we currently live to also accounts for if we view technological evolution as a whole has just been achieved that we currently have in our life in three steps which is according to chess philosopher random one richa the major three steps are nothing but tools machines automations tools uh, examples uh, rock knife spears etc machines uh, we already know car bike train computer etc automations all the machines where human is replaced by ai that is called an automation okay these are the basic technological evolution that has happened uh, so far and now we are going to see about the evolution of networking and related to it yes this is the most important thing we are seeing to, we are going to see in our video again a basic definition of network will be a connection that enables a devices to share information and assets like uh, uh, scanner printer etc uh, it makes it uh, simpler to gather and organize data and helps in time management yes right now let's see how we developed in the world of internet is also having three major developments what are the three major developments aspnet nsfnet internet aspnet was came into the market on 1969 the first network that came into the existence and some basics uh, for the internet it has then nsfnet came into the market on 1980 network which is more capable of aspnet mainly to use network for academic researches then the major thing internet was came into the market on 1990 the internet working of aspnet nfc and other private networks it's the major concepts and major goal of the internet finally we came to the conclusion the next step in internet evolution right okay before going to see that we just brief out uh, what are the things we used with the internet you can classify this among the uh, five basic topics that means uh, pre internet internet of content internet of services internet of people internet of things yes what is pre internet it's a connection between a human to human before the internet came into the market internet of content after the internet came into the market we mostly probably are uh, using www world wide web right so email information and entertainment blah 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 the another thing internet of services is nothing but web 2.0 as e-commerce e productivity was the major thing uh, which is ruling our market in today life okay the what is internet of people is nothing but guys we are the internet of people who are using social media uh, like facebook uh, skype youtube google etc then uh, the most advanced thing is internet of things machine to machine right identification tracking monitoring metering automation payment through online so these are the things which are uh, under the category of uh, internet of things right and now it can be developed from one to one is nothing but from pre internet to internet of content through ip networks internet of content to internet of services through id platforms and services from services to people by devices and apps from people to things sensors more devices and tax big data scientific data that means data science these are the things the internet of the things too may be the another category of evolution may be only through the 
ambient content data semantics right it's nothing but this is how millions of buttons have clicked evolved into a clicker and this will be in getting a better view of evolution of technology hope the snacks was be more delicious thank you